The Forest's First Market Once upon a time, in a lush and vibrant forest, the animals decided to gather in a sunlit meadow for a very special event, the very first forest market. The animals were excited as they brought their goods to the meadow. The bees brought jars of golden honey. The rabbits brought bundles of crisp carrots. The birds brought colorful feathers. And the deer brought beautiful flowers. There was plenty of treasures from the forest. But there was one problem. When the animals tried to trade with one another, they faced a challenge. Nutty the squirrel wanted some juicy carrots that Riley the rabbit was selling. They looked so delicious. However, Riley did not want acorns from Nutty. He wanted some sweet honey candies made by the bees' family. And bees were craving for some pumpkins that Luna the white fox was selling. The animals could not understand what to do and got very upset. Just then, a wise owl named Oliver appeared in a flutter of feathers. He listened to the animal's predicament and hooted softly. I have a solution, my friends. Oliver reached into his bag and pulled out a handful of shiny ruby stones that sparkled like the sun. These special stones, he explained, are from a faraway volcano and cannot be gathered here. So I'll share them equally among all of you. From now on, every carrot, every bottle of honey, and every other good can be exchanged for one of these precious pebbles. The animals were intrigued. They all received a shiny ruby pebble from Oliver. Nutty the squirrel took his pebble and ran to Riley the rabbit. Here's my pebble, he said. Can I have your juicy carrot, please? Riley happily exchanged a carrot for a pebble and hurried to the bee's family. Can I please get a honey candy, dear bees? He asked. And the bees were happy to exchange a pebble for one of their honey candies. As the days passed, the forest market flourished. Every animal could exchange their goods for shiny pebbles and then use those pebbles to buy whatever they desired. It made trading fair and easy. However, there was one group of animals who were having trouble. The beavers had brought piles of sturdy wood logs to the market, but nobody seemed interested in buying them. They scratched their furry heads in confusion and approached Oliver, the wise owl. Oliver, they said, nobody wants to buy our wood logs. What should we do? Oliver blinked his wise old eyes and asked, is there anyone in the forest who needs something built or repaired? The beavers thought for a moment and then realized that Nutty the squirrel needed his treehouse repaired. They all went to Nutty and offered their services in exchange for a shiny pebble. Nutty agreed because his treehouse needed some fixing. The beavers worked diligently, and when the job was done, Nutty handed them a shiny pebble. With their shiny pebble in hand, the beavers went back to the market, feeling proud of their hard work. Now they could use their pebble to buy the things they wanted just like the other animals. And so, the forest animals learned the importance of using money. They saw how the shiny pebbles made trading fair and helped them get what they needed. The forest market became a place of happiness where every animal had a chance to exchange their goods and make their dreams come true. Hey there, little friend. Did you like our fairy tale today? If you did, give us a big thumbs up. And if you want more magical stories with Auntie Karen, click the subscribe button. Let's have more fun together.